Hello. And welcome back to Morrigan's Cottage. If you're new here, my name is Ashling. This is my cat Bonnie, my dog Morrigan, and this is the inside of our cottage. Um, it is Sunday the 19th, maybe 18th, 19th, we're roughly, I think it's the 19th. Uh, we just got down to the cottage. This week is a little bit of a different week. Normally we come down Saturday morning, stay till Saturday evening, and then come down Sunday morning, stay till Sunday evening. Um, this week I actually have off work and we're staying somewhere that's about 25 minutes away. So it means we're not going up and down to Dublin, which is great. So the hope is that we're going to get some Trojan work done this weekend. But yeah, so we've lots to be doing this week. We just got here. It's about mm, one o'clock at this point. Uh, we left Dublin a little later because we knew we'd be down quite a bit. Now I'm going to get the lawnmower out because it's perfect lawn mowing weather. Uh, I'm going to get some sunscreen on first. And then we're going to go on outside. And fingers crossed I can get the lawnmower started without my dad here. Bunny's here hiding in the shade. Missy Moo is a silly billy and won't go in. Hearing protectors make such a huge difference. It's actually probably too hot to be doing this. 20 degrees in Ireland. Someone's punishing us.
today's mowing is going a lot better because I think I figured out how to do it properly. So a lot of the garden is now done. Uh, but of course, the part of the garden that isn't done is the really long part. So I'm going to take a quick water break and then get back onto that. So we'll be back in a few minutes. So I don't know if you can tell by my face, but it is bloody hot outside now. Most of this sheen is the sun lotion, which is much needed. <sighs> but it is so hot outside. Um, and we're not used to this hot weather here in Ireland. And I know 20 degrees probably doesn't sound hot, but in like Ireland hot, that's bloody hot. I feel like I'm just sticking. Hi, you bon. So the girls are kind of inside while I'm doing this because it's just, it's actually just too hot for them to be out there. Um, now I'm going to let them out now for a few minutes with me. Do you want to go out the back for a minute? Grass is looking really good so far. Obviously, this section is where we need to do, and that is, of course, the longer section that we didn't get to. Well, that we just kind of struggled with the last time. So, so the mower has a self-pull function on it. Um, so if you pull that, it obviously it pulls itself along. Um, and I'm finding that if I don't use that, if I just push the mower, obviously it goes a little bit slower, and it has a better chance to get the mulch out. Um, because that's kind of what our problem is at the moment. The mulch is getting caught in the back and even though I just have the back open, um, it's still getting caught. So we're just going slow with it. We're taking it one little bit at a time, uh, but even my phone is overheating. It's so hot. So I might try to find a shady spot to put it, uh, but for, for now just enjoy the bird song. Taking a very slight break from the outdoors because it's actually just too hot and I don't want to get sunstroke. And I know from anyone that lives somewhere hot, that probably sounds absolutely ridiculous. But this weather is something else for Irish people. Like, it's so hot. Got a new hammer to go with the chisel and decided I was going to do just the smallest little exploration. Can we find stone walls? If I'm having no luck, we're just going to give up for now. And we'll get someone to come in to have a look and see, like, is this actually made of stone or not so i think i found them um i was actually just cleaning up in this doorway area and there was a little bit of a hole in the wall and i was like you know what screw it let's just chisel in there a tiny little bit and i think maybe i have found the 200 year old stone walls so let me have a look with you okay so i haven't dug out a huge amount but i don't know about you this looks like stone to me now it looks like it was like mortared with maybe mud um and potentially at some point like concrete or something um but yeah so this cement or concrete or whatever it is it's quite wet you can feel it like it's just it's not strong the further you go up the wall it's a lot stronger and very hard to get through but down in this corner it's just coming off really easy um but I don't know, what do you guys think? Does this look like an old stone wall? Should I chip away a tiny bit more? I feel like we may as well. Um, but yeah, very exciting. If this is the old stone wall, thank God. Because I feel like I've been talking about the old, old stone wall for ages and everyone's like, it's probably just made out of concrete. It's probably just brick wall. And I'm like, no, I swear to God, this cottage is made out of stone. It's solid stone. I swear, and every week when I don't find concrete, or sorry, stone wall, and I just find more concrete, I'm like, Jesus, I look like a bit of an idiot. But I think we found the stone wall. So I am thrilled.
Okay, let me show you what I've done so far. So, almost all there done. We've got a little patch there, the little patch here, and then just kind of as far back in there as we can, and then we're done. Thank God. <sighs> let me show you how deep it is. So, it's about half up to my knee. So the mower's doing really good. Now, someone left a comment on the last video and said, take the mulcher out, which I have, it's over there. Take the storage thing off and then just get something to prop open um, the back. So I'm just using this piece of string and it has it propped open and it's doing the job pretty good. Now it doesn't mean I'm absolutely covered, uh, but actually it's working really well, so. Hopefully not too much longer at this because it's now five. We've been at it since about one. Hey, nearly done. Good job. I'm coming to get it. I'm coming. I'm coming. For the first time in a long time, you have a very visible morrigan in the grass, which is good. I'm going to come get that ball. I'm going to come get that ball. I'm coming. We're almost done. Thank God. For the first time in like three years, the grass is cut. So what I'm going to do is, and not today, tomorrow, I'm going to just like do the edges because obviously it's just too close for the mower. Going to get all this cut. But look at this. One fully mowed lawn. <laughs> Oh my god, look at me, I'm absolutely covered in grass. I'd say the lawnmower is about to melt down from so much work. It took all day. But the grass is cut. <sighs> what a good start to the day. For our tree lovers, look at the lilac tree. It just looks fab. Some of these like broken sticks I'm going to take care of. I'm going to get them cut off. Um, but the healthy sticks are all doing so good. And then randomly, let me show you over here. There's like a different kind of flower on the other side of the tree. It's like a lighter kind of flower. It's really pretty. Uh, the smell is gorgeous. Look. Kind of hard to pick it up on camera here this one's a good one you can see it's a lot lighter than like the darker ones but anyway full bloom looks fab happy days so next on what we want to get started is all this grass to strim more strimming <laughs> good girl you are so good are you gonna help mummy Where's your ball? Oh, it's over there, go get it. 
little updates. We're getting there. Okay. This is where we're leaving it. For tonight, hopefully you can see the difference. Obviously we stopped along there. So, we got lots done. Did we get a lot done? Yeah. We'll do the rest tomorrow. No, we finished for the night. And just a reminder, here is how we're leaving the garden. But it's starting to come together.